Hi, it's me Dahlia coming back on with another Friday's flowers. Today we're going to learn how to make these flowers using coffee filters. Yep, you saw it. Coffee filters. So I'm using the uh, AliExpress four piece size that I used in my previous Friday flowers. A uh, watercolor palette, a couple of tools that I think I'm going to need and especially that rounding tool. So to save some time, I did cut three of each size off camera. Now the larger pieces do come apart on their own fairly easy, um, but with the smaller pieces, you can use that rounding tool and they will just um, come apart from each other. And you can see here how quickly they just let each other go. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna start layering each one. Now I didn't paint them yet or anything like that, so they look kind of flat but I wanted to see how many layers I wanted to put on them. But I think I already had in my mind that I was gonna use all 12 of them. I thought that would give it a nice um, puffy look, more realistic, more fluffy. But yeah, I decided I'm gonna use them all because why not? In crafting, you just never know what you're gonna end up with. So I grabbed my um, water brush and I always tend to migrate to blue. I don't know, it just seems to show so much better when filming. Um, but there's no rhyme or reason, no particular shade of blue that I'm looking for. Um, for the most part, when I did these, um, I was just trying them out. So you can see I'm whole, using my reverse tweezers there and as I'm wetting that coffee filter, it's just flopping all over the place. So I decided just to lay them in one of the built-in trays on the cover and just uh, dab on the color that way. So as I move through all the pieces, you'll see that um, I'm putting them on my foam mat so they can just dry naturally. Um, but some will be darker than others. Some will be maybe darker in some petals, but very light in the others or darker in the center and light on the edges. Um, it's okay. There's no, see, there you go. You can see some of them are dark and as they dry, they tend to, um, get a little lighter anyway. So there they are. There goes all the variations. Now using the same technique that I did with my other one, rounding in the petals to break up those fibers and then reversing it to give it that, that twirl in, um, is what I did for all of them. And just using some standard regular glue. I'm going to start putting all the layers together and then just being mindful to alternate the petals so you won't see any gaps in between. So I'm down to I think layer nine and I'm looking at it and I was like oh wow it looks really pretty as it is and I still got three more pieces so I decided to put them in anyway um, just to give it that recessed look in the center and then just all the petals just puffing out from there. So I'm going to add those last uh, three layers. And then right after that, you're going to see, I went into my stash and I pulled out this um, iridescent um, rhinestone that I got from a previous dollar haul. And just to add it in the center there, just to give it that finishing touch. And there it is. I'm going to fluff it out just a little bit more. Yep, until you're happy with it. So here is a close-up of it. I, I'm so happy I went with all 12 of them. And here's some close-up of others that I did in various colors using different centers. Um, so as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and inspiring. And I'll catch you at the next video. Bye.